Half a chance. Everyone. Yeah. All right. Calm. Uh, the manager wanted you all to put a smile on the face of the nation. I think you managed that. Can I just get your kind of considered thoughts on on what you guys did on Thursday night? Yeah. Um, excellent. You know, to obviously get that step into the final. That was. That was a plan for the start of the week. Obviously, we were we were building towards it for a long time, and you know you could feel the the sort of nervousness around it. But I thought the boys were were excellent. You know they they did exactly what the manager asked them to do, and to uh, to hold your nerve at the end with the with the five penalties was excellent as well. So you know it showed a, a good bit of character. What was it like to be involved in it? Were you relieved? Were you delighted? What was your kind of preeminent feeling after it? Oh yeah, obviously you know delighted. I think you can you can see that for the you know the celebrations after the game. Probably a little bit of relief in there as well. I think just you know for the for the amount of time that the guys were building up to the game, I think the country was obviously anticipating the game for a long time, and to you know to to get the job done and, and get into the final, that was the objective at the start of it, and we've managed to achieve that. Is that one of the most significant results you've been involved in? Most significant games you've played in? Absolutely, um, probably one of the biggest games. You know, you you've got the country milling you on. Um, a little bit of pressure to get there, um, so I think the players knew that as well, um, and to to handle it the way they did. Obviously, the the game wasn't wasn't a memorable one, but it was um, it was all about getting the job done. And, and like I said, to to hold one there at the end with the penalties was was excellent. I know the main focus is on Slovakia tomorrow and then Czech Republic, but what do you make of the task ahead? Four weeks on on Thursday, Serbia away for a place at the Euros. Yeah, obviously, you know, a tough game. Um, we've got two two games coming up, obviously, to prepare for that as well against good opponents. So, you know, hopefully we can get some good work in in, in those two games. You know, again, look at the systems, improve where we can, and, and obviously, like I say, keep that momentum going into to the big one uh, in a few weeks' time. And when it comes around, obviously, we know um, Serbia is a, a very tough opponent. Um, they played very well against Norway the other night and, and deserved a victory. So... We know it's a big task, but in a, in a cup final and a one-off game, then you just never know. Um, and obviously, to, to go through in penalties, you need that little bit of luck. So here's hoping that you know that's that's on the right path of you know carrying a wee rub of the green as well. You talk about momentum there. That's what six unbeaten for for the national team. You also had to deal with all the call-offs that you've you've just had. Do you sense it's all sort of beginning to to come together? There's a you know you're on a real roll. Hopefully, yeah. Um, like you said, a, a little bit of a situation at the start of the week, and we've managed to come through that well. So you know we're missing some some key players, but I think the credit has to go to the guys that that came in and played. They were they were first class, um, and it shows another you know strength and depth in the squad, and and uh, that can only be positive. You know going forward, like you say, we're building, we're trying to build something, and. And if we can get as many good players fit and available for Scotland, then ultimately that's that's the best thing for the country. International football is quite difficult at the minute with all the travelling, with the, the pandemic, etc. Does that have any effect on on yourself or the, or the players? Is it just a case of observing all the protocols and crossing your fingers? Yeah, pretty much. It's uh, you know you can you can try and do as much as you can, and, and obviously the the medical team here have, have done a great job with the with the protocols and things like that. So you do you have to just try and adhere to the rules as best you can and, and, and just hope for the best a little bit and I think in the sense where if things go wrong you have to just try and adapt as, as best you can so um, you know fingers crossed we've did that well so far and, and hopefully in, in you know, camps to come then we'll do the same. Is that a different and difficult thing to get your head round with as a player Callum? because if you have a normal injury and you're ruled out of a game you can accept it but in this case you might feel fine to be told to isolate as some of the boys have been for, for these fixtures. Yeah, exactly. I think that's the the difficult bit of it. Um, like you said, if it's a, if it's an injury and you know you've you've got something, then it's a little bit different. Um, but you know, circumstances can dictate you missing a game, so you can understand the frustration of the of the lads of that that's happened to. So, but again, I think the main thing is the the safety of everyone as well. So you you can't take any chances in in that sense. Um, but you just have to adapt as as best you can and, and try and get your head around it. And try and follow as much of the protocols as you can all all of the time. The manager says the players at the big clubs, like yourself, for example, can handle playing three games in the space of a week, ten days. Realistic for you to do something like that in this scenario? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, I always talk about it. I, I like to play as, as much uh, football as I can, and you know, it is a quick turnaround. But you know, we're just there as well. We we pretty much have two days in between every game that we play, from you know July onwards every season. So. Um, 
we're in a in a routine where we our bodies can handle it and and like I said, you know, previously we've we've obviously been curtailed with the virus, so to get back on the pitch playing, I just want to play as many minutes as I can. You've done that successfully well, right through your Celtic career, but will your manager be understanding if you play ninety minutes, one hundred and twenty minutes, ninety minutes, and then go back for a big fixture at the weekend? Yeah, I think obviously, you know, he he would maybe look at it slightly differently, um, and and that's the challenge with the with the international managers as well. They have to to try and see it for both sides. Of, uh, point of view as well, and and that can be a little bit difficult sometimes. But you know, I think if you're if you're fit and healthy and well, and and you want to play, then then obviously um, you're a footballer, and, and that's your job. That's what you want to do. So I can understand it for for both sides. Um, you know, I'm, I I just love playing football, and and I want to play in every game that I can. So you know, that's my my take on it. Three games in a week. Is that just a normal week for Callum McGregor? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's a quiet week. That's a quiet week. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, exactly. That's it. It's I'm used to it now as well, so um, my body can take it. My body can handle it. So you know, I'm I'm looking forward to the the games coming up. Playing those away games for Celtic in Europe, how much of a benefit is that for for next month? Yeah, exactly. To to have that experience of obviously the the travel, um, playing the games, coming back, then playing maybe early on a Sunday or whatever. Then that it does it prepares you. So um, we'll be looking forward to the game obviously when it comes around next month, but. I think my focus for the next few days is, is on the two upcoming games and, and like I said, we'll, we'll deal with that next month when we get there. Is there a danger that after the big game against Israel, it's a case of a, after the Lord Mayor show, you know, and the, and the kind of concentration dips a little? I don't think so. I think, you know, hopefully it'll go the other way in terms of, um, you know, that being the, f you know, probably the first success as the group's had um, together and it was a, it was a big moment for the group as well. So. You know, hopefully it'll go the other way where you know boys are, are bounced onto the training pitch this morning, probably feeling better than what they would have done if they'd have lost the game and and uh, you know there's a real sense of happiness and, and togetherness in the squad. So, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that it'll go the other way and everyone will be will be fresh for tomorrow. Feels like so everyone's had their say on the shape of the team with the three at the back and everything. Steve, I think, said after the match that he talked with the players about it and everyone was was into it. Do you feel like the, the players are getting more comfortable with it? Like it's something that's starting to bear fruit. I think so. I think um, you know that's obviously the last couple of camps that we've we've played that formation, and you know it does it. It takes a little bit of time to to click and gel and and make sure everyone's in the right position as the ball moves and and the team move together and, and press at the right time. So you know it does it does take a a little bit of time, um, and then even more so in international football when you have so many different football philosophies coming together, you have two days to put it into practice. So. You know, I think the manager's done a great job in, in that sense of, of getting us organised and you know, I, I felt like we were pretty comfortable um the other night in terms of you know, we weren't conceding much chances. Um, you know, maybe we gave up a little bit too much of the ball, but I think you would rather their centre backs had the ball than, than the seven did and and he was our main threat, so we managed to snuff him out pretty much every time he got, got towards the box and um so it's just a case of building and, and, and trying to get better at playing it and that comes with the confidence of getting results and, and building momentum. So, you know, hopefully that's something that will come um, pretty soon. Is it the chance creation, getting the goals, is that what you hope has to be the, the next thing that comes from this? I think so. You know, obviously, we, like I said, the last couple of camps have, have looked fairly good um, defensively. We haven't given up many chances. And, and like you said, that's probably the next uh, building block in, in terms of working on that system. How do we then get the full backs in, involved and in playing more like wingers? Um, and, and, and swinging the game that way. So, like I said, that will come, but it, it takes time, especially when you have you know have two days um, sort of preparation time for the game. Can we have a chance to speak to Stuart or Ryan, um, Kieran, that, that miss, had to miss the game? Uh, yeah, I spoke to a little, a little bit to, to Kieran the other day. So, you know, obviously he's, he's frustrated, but um, uh, the, the three boys, you know, texting the, in the group chat straight after the game, they were. They were delighted for the boys as well, so you know, obviously we were we were gutted they missed it, but um, it's nice to see that they were straight away in the group chat um, and delighted for the boys. So, you know, you have to have sympathy for them. We, we obviously we desperately wanted them involved, you know, and, and obviously the situation that is is um, is really difficult. But you know, as a as a group of players and, and a squad, then you know we're very much together. Sounds like you were trying to do it kind of for them as well, partly. I think so. I think you know we are we are a group. We're a strong we're a strong close group, and 
you know, when you lose a couple, then you have that sense of right, let's let's go and do it for the lads as well. And and uh, like I said, the boys that came in were, were first class, and and it was a real team effort. Thank you very much. Perfect.